This is the Marvel Legends, Marvel Universe Return of the Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure Collection Terax Series. The whole set is part of the first wave of the Return of the Marvel Legends series of figures that came out 2011, 2012. Uh, they, they came out in, the, in Manila early 2012. Uh, I missed out on retail on them because I, pff, I don't know, for some weird reason, I, I wanted to get them at a hobby shop. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but uh, I decided, or I wasn't pretty sure I was going to get all of them, but I eventually got all of them from a hobby shop, from several hobby shops, actually. Um, they were all MOC. A uh, couple of figures were LOC. And uh, I even got the original shipping box, and I put them away somewhere in a in a cabinet. And I'd forgotten about them for some weird reason because a lot of the other figures had come out, Transformers and whatnot. Um, and I, they just, you know, stayed there. And here's the original box, as you can see, it's even, yeah. So anyway, um, quick look at the packaging. This is the the first figure you get is Constrictor. He includes the upper torso of Terax and here's the back art and the assortment okay that's, that's right. originally I was gonna do one video each but out of these guys but I didn't want to bore you so I decided to do one two three four five six seven eight nine ten figures in one video so you can already imagine how short this video is gonna be this is Marvel's claw the least sought after figure in the wave i have no idea why such an awesome character look at that costume how crazy is that <laughs> secret wars days i mean so anyway the living the menace drives it. this genius who turned his own body into living sound that's how cheesy marvel was back in the day we'll talk about that a little later um hope summers probably the most sought after figure in the wave that's just my opinion because i'm a big x-men fan so yeah look at that very very nice rendition of hope okay now the uh the ghost rider figure uh which includes the left and right arms what does hope include hope includes the head and the axe and um terax has the left leg <clears throat> Um, so Ghost Rider has only one kind of packaging for the, it shows the Spirit of Vengeance, uh, whereas the, uh, sorry, the Spirit of Justice, it's the movie Ghost Rider that shows the Spirit of Justice, um, but both the Spirit of Justice and the Spirit of Vengeance share um, one packaging, just the same, uh, the same box. They just the obviously the variant is the spirit, spirit of vengeance. All right, then we go to Steve Rogers. Um, also has a variant. This is the regular one, the blue one with the regular shield. And um, sorry, this is anyway. Put that there. I don't know why I'm not showing you guys that. Um, see, the black version that has the photonic shield also shares the same box, so there you go. And lastly, if you want to build Terax, you got to get Iron Man. Now, Steve Rogers has the what? Has the lower torso, interestingly enough. And Iron Man, Extremis Iron Man, has the right leg. Now, it will show the red Iron Man. Well, the stealth armor is the variant and will share the same type of packaging. The only other figure in this wave that does not include any piece of Terax is the uh, is Thor. This is the Golden Age Thor, I think, not the Marvel now Thor. I'm not sure. Um, yes, I believe it's the Golden Age Thor, not the Marvel now Thor. Uh, because there was a, in 2012, I think, or 2011, I think, I'm not sure, there was a San Diego Comic Con uh, exclusive figure uh, of this particular figure that had more shiny paint apps. So if you bought that um, and you wanted to build Terax, Hasbro made it so that you did not have to buy a second Thor. If 
you wanted to build a Terex, Terex if you wanted to build Terex if you already had um, the first Thor from the convention. So each of the figure will have these instruction sheets, which is really nice um, sort of a vignette of of the story of Terax, who was once called the uh, Tyrus the Terrible or something from a planet uh, that he ruled. Uh, and Galactus got him as a, uh, well, he wanted him as a herald. So to humble him, he made the deal with the Fantastic Four. Fantastic Four said, he, Galactus said, if you defeat Terax and humble him, I will give you a way to defeat um, something, uh, <laughs> uh, the Sphinx, or something like that. Uh, the Fantastic Four amazingly needed help from Galactus. Anyway, so that's that's one. So you get uh, Steve Rogers gets this one with lower torso. So you get a Fantastic Four vignette. The next vignette is the Galactus vignette, which you get from Hope. Very nice. Um, which has the you know, Hope yeah, the next. And then uh, <clears throat> you get Dazzler um, from uh, the Extremis Iron Man. Interesting. Yep, two Dazzlers. Doctor Doom vignette uh, from uh, Claw. Uh, amazingly. Well, it, it's significant that he gets Doctor Doom because in Secret Wars, if you followed Secret Wars, um, he does um, Galactus. Uh, well, um, Doctor Doom is responsible for bringing back Claw uh, from the depths of space. You get Silver Surfer from Constrictor and two Annihilus, obviously from the Ghost Rider. Um, the Annihilus vignette from the Ghost Rider figures. So, with that being said, this video is already seven minutes and nothing said about the figures. Um, let me just adjusting the tripod okay so let's start with probably the figure that's most sought after by fans including myself is hope hope summers very very nice um, accurate uh, she's just missing the spear that cable had but very very accurate the mold they used well um, they're gonna be repeating this this one is I think the Valkyrie mold or no, it's, well, yes, in a way, but it's, the legs are Maria Hill legs, I think, and the body and torso is like uh, the, um, Madame Hydra, which was not made, <laughs> not yet made uh, by the time of this one, but it's the same as Madame Hydra and Madame Mask and, uh, and I think that uh, Valkyrie, the two-pack Valkyrie. Um, so it's very nice. Um, I love the paint apps on this one. The head sculpt, the the body sculpt, even the cape. Just everything about this figure is amazing. Uh, I wish they'd given her more weapons. They just gave her one blaster from the future. So that's very cool. Uh, paint apps, again, just phenomenal. They did an excellent job. There's some bleeding with the yellows and greens, but that's fine. Uh, paint apps on the head. Um, very, very nice. Let me see if we can focus on Ah. All right, very cool, uh, very nice. Even the cape. Look at the paint they put on the cape. You think you know when 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 Hope gets permanently in the uh, stays permanently in the present, she changed this cape, but she doesn't because it's what Cable gave him gave her. So the Messiah that was supposed to save mutant kind. Um, very popular series. Um, the Messiah. Um, uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, if you read up on that, it Cable coming in to save Hope uh, from Bishop, um, the future, I think it started with the future, and then Messiah, uh, 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 Messiah Wars, or um, Messiah Complex, uh, it, it's a whole, th several arcs, four different arcs, and then she even led a team on her own, um, and uh, she's a very, very dynamic character, and eventually she would be the centerpiece for X Men and Avenger, X Men versus Avengers, because she would get the Phoenix uh, for us. And then now, currently, as of making this video, it's uh, May sixth, two thousand fourteen. If you're reading up on the twenty fourteen, the pages of the twenty fourteen X Force comic book where Cable has teamed up with Psylocke, 
Hope is in a coma and has not been revealed why, and Cable is frantically searching for a cure. So very, very nice. Very dynamic figure if you're a big um, Mutant Universe fan, big like the X-Men, X-Force, X-Factor, um, Uncanny X-Men, whatnot. This is an amazing figure to have. So articulation, she's got a ball joint in neck, ball joint upper torso, ball hinge shoulders and elbows and wrists, ball hinge wrists, uh, ball hinge hip, no waist swivel, thigh swivel, double jointed knees, ball hinge ankles, just plain ball hinge ankles. So very, very nice. So we're going to put her off to the, side, to the side for a while. Let her chill out there. Next one, we're going to talk about the second most sought after figure and it is the Steve Rogers figure. Uh, let's let this Iron Man chill for now. Um, comes in two variants. The regular version is actually the one that's more sought after, which is the blue version with the regular shield. Let me try and fix that. It's exact same mold. They didn't change anything. They only changed the hue of the plastic that they used uh, for both figures, as well as the kind of plastic they used for the shield. Now, you might recall that Hasbro had already, re already, what am I saying, released a Marvel Universe 3 and 3 quarters figure of this figure. And I think that figure is, well, it is very, it's a very good figure. Uh, one, of the best, um, one of the best figures in the Marvel Universe line, sadly, is gone. They're going to repack it in the Avengers Infinite series, Marvel slash former Marvel Universe. Um, but this figure is very, very similar to that figure. The only difference between this one and the Marvel Universe figure is it does not have the rocker joints, which is a bit of a pain when posing this guy because those rocker joints really, in the ankles really help with the dynamic poses. So same, uh, same exact same body paint. The head sculpt is, well, he's more fairer with the black version, at least on my copy. Um, but they just changed the plastic. The paint apps temp is the same. Um, the boots are different in plastic. This one's light brown. This one's dark brown as well as the straps. Uh, slight variations, even the gloves. So very, very slight variations. This is more of a stealth suit. That's the regular suit when he became director of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, and this one, the only big dif biggest difference, I think, is the photonic shield. And if you read up on the comic books, when Bucky was the reigning Captain America, <laughs> just like a pageant, um, Steve was given another shield. <clears throat> A photonic shield which was it was light it was like a lightsaber shield uh, you could put it in any shape um, you could literally throw it it was solidified photons solidified light to that effect if that works for you but you know anyway it, it's a great figure because if you're completing your Avengers back in the day before Marvel now when this was a really really nice character to have uh, and if you're a big Captain America fan, this is one of those figures you'd want to pick up. So she's uh, paint apps okay, um, very nice. There's some there's going to be a lot of white bleeding into the black or blue because that's just the way Hasbro is. He comes with two uh, blasters that look like uh, Baroness's or Storm Shadow's um, um, rail guns, <laughs> mini rail guns. Um, articulation uh, again, the shield which can be. You know, pegged into the back and clipped onto the forearm with with no it's there's no looseness to it it's a very firm grip on his or on his wrist ball jointed neck that's on a hinge he's got this ab crunch waist swivel ball hinge shoulders bicep swivel double jointed elbows um, and above the wrist cut now, there's no hinge it's just a swivel cut ball hinge hips thigh swivel double jointed knees um, no calf um, articulation ball hinge ankles but the regular ball hinge ankles and not the uh, <clears throat> am I saying not the rocker joints so yeah pretty cool let me just fix it before he topples over and the third most sought after figure in this wave has got to be the ghost rider both the spirit of vengeance and the spirit of justice not a lot of people are liking this one because there's no bike I mean ghost rider without the bike it's like Iron Man without the armor, Captain America without the shield. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Um, but it's okay. It works, I think, if you're just gonna pose him. Um, but he does need a bike, and I think Hasbro is speculating that uh, Marvel Legends fans already have the Toy Biz version of the Ghost Rider, and they're gonna use that bike, which is really stupid. I mean, you know, come on. You can't expect 
every single Marvel Legends fan to have that particular or Ghost Marvel Legends Ghost Rider fan to have that particular figure so that they can just transfer the bikes. It's like when they made the Emma Frost for the Wolverine Marvel Legends wave. They're expecting that you have the old horse faced Emma Frost uh, in your collection and you're just going to transfer the cape. Well, chances are you already might have that, but I mean, come on. You gotta, you gotta be more generous to the fans. I mean, you already give this Ghost Rider a ton of detail and articulation. Not to give it a bike, well, at least some form of a bike. Um, since the iron, come on, you can save plastic on this guy, on these two, and yeah, and you could should use the extra plastic on him. And Terax isn't even that big. The blob, I think, is bigger than Terax. So, I mean, Hasbro, come on. Anyway, so we get this guy. There's no, there aren't even any chains. No chain accessory. No motorcycle sim, um, semblance of a motorcycle. Even a cardboard would be nice. No, I don't know. But so I guess it's up to the fans to customize their own motorcycle. But the detail on this one is absolutely brilliant. It's phenomenal. It's even uh, the skull sculpted very well with all these translucent flames. Um, the regular version is actually this one, the Spirit of Vengeance, which only appears in the last few minutes of the movie when he's become the Spirit... Oh, sorry, the Spirit of Justice. I keep saying Spirit of Vengeance. The Spirit of Justice is the blue one. That's the good spirit. Whereas this, the Spirit of Vengeance is the vengeful spirit, um, which is mostly in the movie. And it is the variant. So, I don't know what's up with that, Hasbro. This should have been the variant. And this is this looks more like the classic Ghost Rider. So fantastic detail all around. The only problem I have with these with this figure is that um, it doesn't have any accessories, no chain and no motorcycle. I mean, it might be too much to ask, but come on, Hasbro, do a Ghost Rider figure properly. Great detail, no accessories, ball jointed neck, no hinge. Amazingly, it's just a ball jointed neck, <clears throat> ball hinge shoulders, um, bicep swivel. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, double jointed elbows. He's got um, ball hinge wrists, but severely hindered because these things don't move. Not like Hope's. Um, Hope's. Uh, let me show you quickly. Hope's uh, armor, forearm armor. They actually they're loose. They swivel nicely, so to allow you some poses uh, with her hands. Uh, he's got the ab crunch, waist swivel, at least they kept all of that in. Ball hinge hips, thigh swivel, double jointed knees, ball hinge ankles, just the regular ones, no rocker joints. So, pretty cool, interesting enough. Um, I mean, for Ghost Rider fans, it's a great, great figure. Just You just need motorcycle. All right, on to Iron Man. This is the extreme Extremis armor Iron Man, much like the Marvel Universe um ext extremis figure we got but slightly different um the big change is really well these they're, they're sort of separate pieces that are annoying and instead of ball jointed hips he's got a ball hinge hip but basically the same um in in terms of sculpt and articulation i think <clears throat> so used to that figure it's gotten so many it's gotten already so many versions um, so he's got loose shoulders, which is a pain. Uh, I'm glad they didn't scrimp on the articulation. They didn't give this guy that uh, blaster accessory because you don't need that, right, for Iron Man. Uh, but it's a very cool figure. Paint apps are great. The only trouble for the paint apps that you should be worried about is the chest piece. That's where most of the quality issues appear and the paint on the face, especially the eyes and the mouth. Um, everything else is spot on. Come on, Tony, what are you doing? One leg is longer than the other. No, I don't know. So, anyway, the figures are exactly the same in sculpt. They're just painted differently, obviously. He's got a ball jointed neck on a hinge, which is great. Ball hinge shoulders, double jointed elbows, bicep swivel, ball hinge wrists, ball hinge upper torso, no waist swivel, ball hinge hip, thigh swivel, double jointed knees, ball hinge ankles, and no rocker joints. Um, not bad, but I love the detail on this one. If you're a big Iron Man fan, you have to get both versions because they're just great. Even the this one, it's not, 
that I was hoping everything would be metallic, uh, but it's not. The forearms and the legs get a little bit of a shine and glossy feel. The the uh, center armor, the torso armor, just has a little bit of a matte going on. It's not bad. It's actually pretty amazing. I'm, I'm really happy that they did a variant on this one. I wish they had made the black version or a darker blue, but it's fine. So that's that's Tony. <clears throat> Next, um, why don't we do this guy first? The least sought after figure in the wave, uh, sound incarnate. Uh, <laughs> this guy is commonly he appears in Fantastic Four and in Avengers, but he is, of, well, I think technically he is uh, the arch rival, one of the arch rivals of the Black Panther, since he was responsible for killing T'Chaka, T'Chaka, the father of T'Challa, the current Black Panther who's been disgraced because now he lives in the la in the kingdom of the dead as one of the members of the Avengers Illuminati. So anyway, this guy, Claw, what's his name? He's a genius mad scientist. I forgot his name. Anyway, um, very prominent in the Secret Wars, if you do read up on the Secret Wars. Well, how he became there, he came about there. Well, he was living south. He, uh, T'Challa cut off his hand when he was escaping as he killed T'Chaka. So he, he was a great scientist at manipulating sound. So he has this, the blast. I forgot the name of this one. Uh, I looked it up, but he's got this weapon that allows him to create any form that's made of sound. He manipulates sound and turns it into anything, much like how the Green Lantern is, but just he can he can use it. Anyway, he found a way to turn his whole body into sound, um, but he didn't find a way to replace his hand. I mean, you would think if you would reincarnate yourself as physical sound that you would physically have a hand holding onto this blaster, but now he wanted to keep his prosthetic hand. Anyway, uh, blah, blah, blah. He's been fighting everybody, the good guys, until he met Dazzler. Ooh. If everybody know, Dazzler feeds off of sound. She turns it into this dazzling array of light effects and light weapons through sound. So, this guy made of sound. Dazzler feeds on sound. Obviously, Dazzler fed on him or ate him up or ate her, her power ate him. He got, she got... He, he got absorbed because Dazzler sucked, hit him. What I'm saying is, because of Dazzler's powers, she was able to suck Claw a lot. I, I mean, everything about... Oh, okay. Needless to say, Claw was dissipated into the cosmos because of Dazzler. He, he died basically that way. Obviously, you'd know what's going to happen. So, in the Secret Wars, Doctor Doom find a way, found a way to resurrect Claw by reforming him. I don't know, through the powers he had because of the Secret Wars. He got the godlike god -like powers he had. Anyway, he rematerialized the Claw, and now he's back. And then he went crashing down. In, but he was insane when he got rematerialized. He came crashing down back to Earth, and he was, like, totally insane. Anyway, then for some weird reason, he died again. And uh, there's this guy, one of the enemies of the Fantastic Four, the wizard, found a way to resurrect him yet again by ironically downloading him through BitTorrent. <laughs> Can you believe it? You resurrect a guy made of sound through BitTorrent, Pirate Bay, whatever. Uh, which begs the question, who uploaded him in the first place, right? I mean, oh, man. Anyway. For some people, this is an amazing guy, amazing character in the Marvel Universe. But for a lot of people, I think he's just one of those forgettable ones. Um, he was a very menacing figure back in the day because he was sound. You could not kill him. Except Dazzler would suck him out dry. But whatever. So anyway, that's this guy, Claw. So I can understand why not a lot of collectors will be after him. And finally... Before we go to Terax, the build a figure, we have Constrictor. Constrictor used to be a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent, went undercover, and then he became evil for some reason. But he, you never really know if he's bad or good. Sometimes he's just really on his side. Captain America keeps saving him, getting him out of trouble, trying to defend him for some weird reason. But uh, vibranium tentacles that they've attached to him, he wanted to for that so that he could infiltrate a club. Um, a particular... Uh, 
Oh, sorry, I forgot to mention articulate. Pain apps, okay. Sculpt, one fantastic, very accurate, and pain and articulation, very nice. Ball joint and neck on a hinge. Uh, ab crunch, waist with ball hinge, shoulders, uh, biceps with double hinge, um, elbow, uh, ball hinge, wrist on his left hand, ball hinge, hips, thighs with double joint, knees, ball hinge, ankles. My bad. <clears throat> Use the small Marvel Legends mold. This is the slightly bigger um, mold than this one. Then that, then that one, then that one. Okay. Uh, so Frank, um, I forgot his last name. His name was Frank, uh, some guy. Anyway, needs to say he was a shield agent, he infiltrated a particular club uh, of bad guys. Then he sort of became bad uh, for some weird reason, and then he became good, became bad. You never really know. But anyway, uh, one of the more interesting uh, characters of this guy, he's sort of supposed to be a boa constrictor. The vibranium tentacles, much like Omega Red. Omega Red just sucks the life out of you. This guy is sort of like um, nervous system activated. It's really like just tentacles, like Doc Ox tentacles. It just grabs you and there's some electroshocking, whatever. Um, I'm not really sure about the powers of this uh, particular time, but that that's what it is it's a very very they've also released a Marvel Universe figure for this one which is very nice I haven't done a review of an, of it though uh, but it's a one of those one of those characters that are just really nice but doesn't get a lot of love from collectors and fans because you never really know about these guys They're, they they seem cheesy for the most part but they're actually a very very dynamic kind of character so very nice. Pain apps are great. Um, the only problem I have with the with this figure is that the tentacles they're just limp. I tried doing the hot water, the boiling water, cold water to just pose it a little bit, but it just stretches out, and this is the best I could do with it. So it's a little bit. There's some little bit of a of dynamic action going there like that. It's it when this thing came out of packaging, it was really straight. Now it's just going to the right or left because of the hot water. The boiling water cold water treatment i added to it but just to give it some life instead of just having it like that straight like leoryx if you had those visionaries toys leoryx whip so anyway ball jointed neck on a hinge ab crunch uh, biceps with ball hinge um shoulders that also have an extra hinge like that much like um who's that guy from alpha flight um guardian and vision uh, bicep swivel double jointed elbows swivel forearm which i think i can totally understand because they had to sculpt in the where the tentacles come out they couldn't do a ball hinge wrist so fine ball hinge hip thigh swivel double jointed knees ball hinge ankles just a regular ball hinge ankles so that's that oh! wow michael bay time <laughs> anyway uh what am i doing I'm not going to cut that out <laughs> like I could. So we're going to put these characters here. All right, so everybody can see. And, all right. All right. All right, what am I doing? Just messing it up even more. All right. Okay. So on to the actual build a figure. too much sorry <laughs> the actual build a figure which is very nice um he's not in scale with the marvel universe galactus but i'm still going to display this guy with the marvel universe galactus very very awesome looking guy so terax he's been endowed with the power cosmic that his axe can wield that he wields with his powerful mighty ass axe the cosmic axe which i think there was one time when he escaped from the ship from the negative zone um, he went to a planet that was inhabited by insect-like creatures, and they, because he was because all those creatures were happy being subservient, he wanted to liberate them. But they said, "No, we're just happy being slaves." He got so pissed off that he took his axe and sliced that whole planet in half. That's how powerful this guy is. So he's literally invulnerable with a mighty axe. Very, very menacing guy. So even the figure is great. The figure uses a huge, huge body mold. Um, yeah, this could be like a Colossus or an Apocalypse, small Apocalypse. So anyway, he's got a ball-jointed neck. Uh, paint apps are phenomenal, fantastic. The sculpt, just amazing. Look at that head sculpt. And the they stay true to the 
uh, colors that, of, of this guy in the comic books. So he's got ball jointed neck, no hinge, uh, crunch, ab crunch, waist swivel, but hindered by the the articulation, a little bit by the uh, articulation hindered, a little bit by his uh, his He Man <laughs> accessory type of chest plates and uh, whatever. Uh, ball hinge, shoulders, bicep swivel. Just a single hinge wrist, uh, elbow, uh, ball hinge wrist, which is nice. Ball hinge hip, thigh swivel, double jointed knees, uh, calf swivel, which is nice, which will allow you to give him a straddling pose. Ball hinge ankles with the rocker joints. So, again, wonderful. It's a nice build a figure figure, um, if you could say it that, like that. Um, the whole set, to me, I would give it a 10 out of 10. Just an amazing set. Every single character is very dynamic, except this guy. I'm sure a lot of collectors are going to pass upon him. But, you know, he's still an amazing villain. I mean, back in the day, living sound. How can you beat that? And you get Terax. So it was a great triumphant return for Marvel Legends in 2012, early 2012, late 2011. I love the fact that Hasbro tried to get the fans still pleased with, uh, with, with this set. Wish they could have done better with the Ghost Rider. Um, maybe the others are just, you know, great paint apps, great sculpt overall. And I'm just overly happy with this set. And I cannot believe I completely forgot about it. Um, yeah, just, just an amazing set. I'm sure you can find it on eBay or somewhere at a very, very low price. My suggestion is don't buy them individually. If you can buy them off at a hobby shop for the entire lot, or you can buy them loose with this with this figure as an entire lot. That'll save you some money. Uh, don't get them individually because the Steve Rogers and the Hope and maybe the Ghost Rider is gonna jack their prices are gonna be jacked up way too much. But I'm sure there are a lot of good souls out there willing to sell you these figures at reasonable prices. So there you go, folks. My very um, very super late already. I think it's considered a throwback review already uh, of, of the. Um, Marvel Legends Marvel Universe Return, the return of the Marvel Legends Build a Figure Collection Terax series featuring the uh, the uh, uh, Herald of Galactus himself, Terax. Um, two kinds of Steve Rogers, with the, the black version with the photonic shield, as well as Cap, uh, Director, uh, Shield Director Rogers. You get Hope Summers, Claw, the Living Sound. You get Constrictor. Uh, two Iron Man, um, Iron Man figures, the stealth armor version of the Extremis and the Extremis armor. You don't have to get both variants if, if, it's, if, if there's a budget going on. But I guarantee you the variants are going to please you just as much as the regular ones. As well as two versions of the Ghost Rider. The Spirit of Justice, which is the regular one, and the Spirit of Vengeance, which is the variant. There you go, folks. There you go. Uh, thanks for watching.